boys and girls back at it again uh today we got to try to operate the uh echo cs 310 is it a 310 i think it is it is too look at that the echo cs 310 um uh, yeah i got some small trimmings to do so hold on a minute stand by i got something on the camera yeah and there you go clear picture so there's been a lot of debate on on the channel about uh, the 3s versus the the, the 3 cs 310 versus the uh the 170 the steel and uh i'm getting a lot of kerfluffle about how magical this thing is and i'm going to be honest with you i've had nothing but trouble with it not in the sense of how it runs it runs fine we had one episode where it started to get uh you gonna hook me up with an what's on there change it okay i gotta go back and reestablish the air filters. there's one up there in the cupboard in the little shelves there's a fitting yeah so anyway we've had a lot of going on i'm in the middle of i got 10 things on the go as usual we're making some uh boxes we made the chicken door that's got to get installed but that's all made um so yeah we got this fella to work on now everybody's talking about the big hoopla about the primer bulb how great that is now the primer bulb's great except when it goes bad i don't think the saw will run i might be wrong but i can only go from oops sorry sorry about the bad camera work about the quality or the the issue with uh uh my chains my string trimmers they both have primer bulbs they're both made by echo they both suffered hideous fates the one i picked up it was used the carburetor was completely trashed ethanol destroyed it um even the fuel pickup in the tank was corroded and crumbling apart i never seen anything like it tell you that ethanol is just the evil of of all things uh small engine excuse me um, anyway, so this is the, uh, the CS3. I'm just doing a cleanup on it because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a new bar and a new chain on it. The only reason why that is, is because the other bar and chain set up while the other bar, it tossed a couple of chains. Uh, not really happy with that. So I'm going to try, I got a new bar and a brand new chain in the box. So what happened was the uh, uh, the local TSC store back when it was TSC was getting out of Echo, and I got a bunch of chains. I got a lot well, of bars. I don't think I got on a deal. I got that box and a tune-up kit. I got heads for the string trimmers. I got a whole bunch of stuff that was on clearance, and that was that was okay. So I'm gonna do a cleanup. You got me blowgun ready? Yeah. I gotta clean this out. Cause it's just full of pudding. And it ain't the good kind of pudding. Pull the sod it. Uh, you can see I'm not going crazy. Very low pressure. And as I get around in tighter spots, I'll increase the pressure a little bit. No, I just want to clean out all that turf tight. Okay, give me the cover. The, blow, the chain cover? Yeah. I just wanted to do this because somebody's going to say that I didn't clean it out. Because, uh, you know, they happen to like the Echoes more than I do. I'm not saying they're a bad machine, but I've had problems. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the other comment was the, uh, the most exciting thing on the face of the planet was the side chain tensioner. Yes and no, I don't know. I don't have a problem with the front ones that my... Uh, my seal does. Would it be better to be an outside one? Probably. I think there's a kit available. 
convert it, but I really don't care that much. You know, huh. if you buy a quality oil, you might not have to adjust the bar so much. Oh, compressor engaged. Hey, everything's clean now. Woohoo! My phone's covered in crap. Uh, this is the chain that I took out. I'm gonna try to find the real bad spot on it where it jumped. Right here. Come here, Jake. Give us a hand. Hold it. I want to see. Hold on to the chain. I want to look at this spot right here. Jake's helping me here. If you can see this hook for the drive, it's missing. Right there. You can see the difference between there and there. So what happened was the chain jumped off and the clutch eats it. <coughs> now I suppose if one was inclined, they could try to clean that up and save the chain. You can see the burr right there. The end of my thumb right here that's the burr from from jumping the chain you can see all that tooth is wore down so you know what because it was 16 bucks I'm gonna throw the chain in the garbage I'm not gonna bother um, so let's uh, let's get this back together and we'll go on from there I just wanted to show you guys what happened when the chain jumped I don't appear to have any untoward wear on the clutch drum on the sprocket you can see there's a little bit of use but it's not uh, not over the top so let's get this together and I'll be right back this is a factory chain with an Oregon bar and yes I can see it's upside down I want to show you guys. Can you focus in on this, Jake, right here? The damage from the chain jumping off? Right where my thumb is. Yep. You can see it there. Yeah, that's what happens. Okay, now I'm way out of adjustment. Where am I? Yeah, I'm a mile off. Okay, pause it. I'm going to line the pin up with the hole and the bar there we go so I lined up the pin that this screw is driving and I'm going to slightly get these a little bit snug I just wanted you guys to witness something. Focus over here. When you tighten the chain, you have to lift up. And the reason why that is, is because it, without a doubt, it's going to get there no matter what. Now you can see me draw that up. I'm going to snug these a little more. And if you disagree with how I'm doing this, absolutely go ahead and make comment. I don't care. Because I don't pretend to know everything, but I know what I know. And now, and this is, sounds a little funky because it's brand new and there's still the guide's full of paint. Okay, so look, look at the difference. So I'm adjusting it here. Right? And you can see that's... That's that's got the snapback tightness you're looking for, but when you lift it up, look at that. So we pre-lift it up because it's going there anyway. Guaranteed. And this is any saw. I don't care who makes the saw. And I like to roll it a little bit just to make sure. And I can still pull that down. But now the top's going tight. What do we got a problem here? We got a problem here. What's going on? 
went right tight, went super tight, so let's try backing this off. We'll back it off a little bit. There we go. Let's see if we can get that. Look, look. Okay, I can pull that right out. And then we'll put a little quarter turn in there. And I'm gonna roll it. I don't like this. Like, what's going on, Echo? I don't like it at all. And if I lift up, I mean, I'm lifting right up. I'm pushing up on it. And you can see that right there. Right here. That's what we're trying to avoid. So I'm going to go a little bit more. I'm going to give it another quarter turn. No, it's getting tight. So I'm trying to settle the chain in. Not bad there. It's got some snap back. So it pulls back up into the slot. Um, some would agree that's how tight it needs to be. So let's try and snug her down. We'll take the cautious approach on this. So that's reasonably snug. I mean, it seems to be going back up in. So this is probably the optimum setting. And that's a brand new chain, and it is uh, sticky sharp, by the way. It is a it is an exact Echo replacement. You guys saw the package. So I would assume it's their recommended chain. I can still move this, so that's good. Okay, we're going to pause the video. And I'm going to come back after I got it all set up and ready to run. So what we got here for bar oil. AMS oil, semi-synthetic bar and chain oil. Uh, what do we got here? Contains special anywhere properties. Exclusive high tack formula protects chain and bars against rust. Excellent all season performance. So there you go. Jake, go ahead and put some bar oil in there. Look at the look at the skill in pouring this. It's incredible. He's got the hands of a brain surgeon. Steady as it goes. Let's see if he overfills. Zoom in on this. Look at that. Great fall. Janky. Now the other thing is this thing does leak oil. I don't know. It always has right from brand new. Some people say, eh. But I just thought I'd mention that. Okay, so stand by, we'll put the fuel in. So the fuel that we're using is, uh, I believe it's Shell. It's high. It's their high performance oil. It's the premium. Um, the reason why that we use the premium gasoline is because it doesn't contain ethanol, and that's quite important because this motor did have a little bit of trouble at one point. My very first YouTube video that was related to homesteading was actually done with this. Uh, Data manufacturer, by the way, is, uh, I'll set it up so you can see it and not complain, July 2016. So we're now, uh, this is seven years, I guess. It'll be seven years next month old. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to, Jake's going to hold the camera, do the camera work, and I'm going to start this thing up. Let me put the fuel away. And then we're going to try to make a cut. Now, I do. I will be honest with you. The uh, the issue that that came about was always doing bush clearing, running the saw, not in a vertical chop, but in a horizontal chop. Uh, I believe this small. It, it would be a, a pinch that was has the ability to twist it off and pull off the chain. I don't want to try to duplicate what happened because I'm, I'm not going to wreck a, a chain for just for the sake of a video. I don't have enough followers to, uh, to spend that kind of money. So now I'm pumping the bulb. I got good resistance. It's full. It went from very soft to squishy. Saw's so in the on position. So I got the choke. 
This thing is stone cold, by the way. Okay, so third pull apart. So I'm going to push the choke in a little bit. trying to do is we're going to clear this brush out we're going to make a path to the lower spot um, I high stump all this stuff so I can use the tractor to pull it out of the ground if you cut it short you won't be able to you get more leverage out of a higher stump that's the way I do it probably uh, there's some argument to, to be made there but because everybody was complaining to me about how wonderful the saw is I thought I'm going to give it another chance I debated whether or not to sell it, but because of the extra stuff I bought for it, I don't think I'll ever get my money back. Or not get it back, but get a reasonable price for it. So that's it, we're gonna run it. And we got all this to clear. We got lots of small trees and brush to cut up. So that's what we're gonna do. Anyway, thanks again for, uh, thanks again for watching another one of my videos. Jake and I are working on stuff. We're going to end this video now. There you go. We're using the Echo CS310 again. And we'll play it by ear and see how it goes. I'll let you guys know. So that's a new bar, new chain. And you saw us fill it up with oil. And everything that needs to be there is there in place. So I'll give it the best opportunity to redeem itself as I can. So remember, for my only fan out there, thanks for liking me. And uh, <laughs> like, subscribe, ring the bell, check back to off. And... The next video you'll probably see is we're going to work on the Hyundai some more. I got to get the exhaust fixed. The resonations driving me crazy. So we'll see you guys soon. And uh, yeah, take care. Bless, bless you all. And uh, thank God that we uh, we have great days like this to to share. See you soon. Bye bye.